Airstream update day 815. It's hard to believe. Over two and a half years ago, I convinced my dad to embark on a journey with me in buying a vintage Airstream trailer to fix up. I bought an Airstream. I paid just under $7,000 for it, and we spent the summer of 2020 polishing, sandblasting, riveting, painting, and designing. But then the project got put on hold. So we've made the decision to kind of take a break from the Airstream. Now we're not planning on having like the Airstream, like finishing it probably, I don't know, probably till next summer. And it's fine here. It's, yeah. it's a good spot. It was a great spot for it. A little bit of an eyesore that my mom complained about from time to time, but a great spot nonetheless. Until my parents decided. We are well into the move. Selling this house. Now my parents have decided to put their house for sale and I don't have a free place to store it. So with all of that said, what is the fate of the Airstream? That's what we're gonna find out today. I have been telling you to get rid of that Airstream for so long. And I, what did I tell you? I said, you're gonna wait till the very last possible day and then have to sell it for the lowest possible price when yeah. you could have listed it yeah. a month ago and got right. more money for it. Don't mess this up. I want you to finish that job. <laughs> To keep it or to sell it, that is the million dollar question. My parents are a week out from listing their house and today I had to get everything that was scattered about the yard that has to do with the Airstream into the Airstream. What do you think, do you love it? It's a mess. You know, the first time I met her ever in my life, one of the first things I asked about her was just to tell me about herself. And the first thing that came out of her mouth was the Airstream. Now she's super into like redoing it and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And here it is. In every relationship, people have baggage and this is mine. This is definitely part of your baggage. <laughs> <laughs> this always can be fun someday. It's nowhere close to done. You want to be nomads and travel the world together? No, in the, no not at all. The Airstream. Not at all, no. And what we have in here is like, we have the old water tanks, and then we have a lot of scraps of aluminum, basically. This was the belly pan. This is sad. I feel like I'm just like in this abandoned airstream. Over the last two years, my life has changed quite a bit and I don't know if the Airstream is a good fit for it. When I got this Airstream, I was a bored, confused, aimless, single 24 year old stuck in COVID. And I've come out of it buying a whole new house, meeting my boyfriend and his 85 pound golden retriever that becomes part of the deal and starting a whole new career that keeps me busy every day. I first off wanna say I don't regret letting it sit for the last two years. Dad, what is your opinion on it all? On the Airstream? Yes, and what well, should happen and... Oh, I just think we got sidetracked with Palm Springs house and yeah. it's not that big a deal, so... But it's time. <laughs> now it has to go because we're selling the house, so... Yes, um, I mean, I think people are gonna have questions though, like, I have to give you a lot of credit for basically all of it. I bought it, but you're the one that put in a lot of work. I did, I put in a lot of work. I, mm -hmm. I And it I might not feel kind of fair to people, maybe, if I'm just gonna sell it. Like, all that work... That's not how it. we think about things, though. We, yeah. We have... See the big picture and I can picture one day it's all fixed up and I'm gonna say Monica Monica I want to take the Airstream for a week and tour mm -hmm. New Mexico that's true yeah so so what do you think ideally would you like to see done with it oh I want to see it completely done up so I feel a little bit better that at least you know everything's in here it's all contained it's towable I just need to find a place for it it's got to be somewhere it might still be mine might not so what are our options here number one is I could sell it it would suck to do that because all the time and effort would just be a total loss but it was a fun experience so I guess that would be fine number two I could find RV storage for it and just let it sit and push off my decision even longer I shouldn't do that though and option three is I could find a renovation company and just pay them to redo it for me. In which case, I would still film the process. 
Okay, so I'm on my way over to meet up with some subscribers actually that bought their own Airstream, redid it, lived in it, did the whole Airstream life, but now they're selling it. I'm curious, so many things, how much money they put into it, what the experience was like, why are they selling it? Was it worth it? What are they selling it for? How hard is it to sell? Like these are all important questions I need answered in potentially investing more into my Airstream. I was instructed to drive until I see an Airstream. There it is. I'm finally in a remodeled Airstream. It was important to me that I'm able to just feel what it's like to actually experience it and figure out, you know, what I like. <laughs> This is a 1977 Airstream Argosy. It's 24 feet long and listed for $55,000. The owners bought it for about $25,000 and then they put a lot of work into putting in their new cabinet, new fridge, wallpaper decor, building out, you know, the bed frame, all that stuff. So for them selling it would mean just breaking even and getting their money back, which is honestly exactly what I expected out of getting an Airstream. Oh, gotta get used to that, that height. I spent a lot of my Airstream journey feeling like the fact that I don't know where it fits in my life is a bad thing, but it's actually kind of a cool thing that it is literally so flexible. You can go park it in a trailer park if you need. You can buy a cheap piece of land somewhere and stick it there. You can put it in your backyard. Maybe this thing could fit in my life better than I expected. And since filming at this Airstream, it has officially sold at a price of $54,000. That was quite encouraging to hear and do a little research on. After checking out a more finished Airstream and getting to really feel it for myself, I just, something in me doesn't want to part with this thing. I have made up my mind that I am hiring a renovation company to finish the job. I looked into three different companies. A little bit, but then its end goal would be, yeah, it would just like stay put. Ballpark for a trailer where the structural work is done. Okay, so yeah, with mine, you're saying basically around like 75 to 90K is like, and I want to give shout outs to the ones that I didn't choose because I still think they could be awesome companies for anyone else. The first one was Mountain Modern Airstream. They're located in Bend, Oregon, and they have all the Pinterest worthy Airstream interiors that you've probably seen. But their price point that they quoted me was really, really expensive. It was going to be, you know, getting closer to like $200,000, which I just can't justify doing that. But if you do want a higher end Airstream with really beautiful finishes, I will have them down below. The second one was Miller Garage. Shout out to Ian at Miller Garage. Gonna have his YouTube channel link below because he actually has a YouTube channel as well. Really wanted to work with him but he is in Texas and the more I thought about it I wouldn't mind shipping the Airstream out there but then I wouldn't be able to check up on it and give you guys proper updates in a timely manner. So I decided ultimately I'm not gonna go with Miller Garage but he did quote prices that felt a little more mid-tier a little bit better for my wallet. So if you are located just in the more southern part of the country or in Texas, definitely check out Miller Garage. Gonna have them linked below. Today is the day. This thing has gotta go. I've made up my mind. So I was lucky enough to stumble upon in basically my backyard, a professional Airstream renovation company called Little House Trailer. They are about to come pick up this Airstream in like 10 minutes. I'm really, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. All right. Oh, they just got here. I'm nervous. Hey. Oh boy. How are you? Hey! Hey guys. Steven, we Monica, nice to Steven. meet you. Yeah. I'm Kylie. Our, <laughs> it's a project. Yeah? Like, I've out seen, out of I've 10. Worse. Okay. A lot worse. It's a three. It's a three? It's, it's a, three. a three out of 10? Yeah. Really? Not what I was hoping for. Action on your frame. Okay. Look what I did, though. Um, <laughs> Yeah. All right, Thanks thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> we'll let you know that we get it home back to our shop Okay.
There it goes. The brakes are working. This feels right. I feel good about this. All right, I'm pulling up to Little House Trailers. Um, garage, lot, I, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. It looks like I'm in a business park. I thought I would be like literally at, at some random like piece of land, but this, it looks very much like a warehouse. I, I gotta show you guys what I'm looking at here. Just a business park here. Like super any ordinary, never suspect. Oh my god, and just as I was about to be like, how the heck do I find this place? Am I in the wrong space? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ex oh, there she is! Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think the point of today is to learn a little bit more about budgeting, layout, their timeline, maybe strike a deal today of some sort, get, you know, get on the list. I, I don't know, so. Here they have a little Bambi. Let's take a peek inside. Nice, getting getting some stuff done there. That's cool. So this is Steven. Hi there. I'm very, very curious why you started this company, but story for another day. Yes. Let's talk about my Airstream first. Yes, the um, one that's outside in the parking lot. Yes, her name is Mighty Mo. I think your dad posted that. Yeah, yeah, and is that like Mighty Mouse or just Mo, like in Larry Mo and Curly? It's because mm. when I was a kid, he would call me that. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's, that's cute. yeah, that's basically it. And Mighty Monica. Yeah, yeah. We bought it right for I believe it was seven thousand dollars. I'm first off curious what you think of that price for what we bought. What year? Two years ago. You know, two years ago, just pre-COVID, that's in the ballpark of what you would pay for a trailer that. Okay. Yeah. That needs you know mid seventies trailer that needs to be restored. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not a crazy number by any means. Yeah. Okay. We use either glossy white, matte white, which we don't have a trailer here that's matte white. This is cool. I like this layout a lot. I feel like it definitely makes sense for like the for size. The size yeah. yeah, that's really cool. This material is called Rift White Oak. It's really, that's expensive, right? No? I like it. It's very pretty. Okay. So I really like the trailer you have going over there with the white oak, the white interior. The little trade wind over there? Yeah. yeah. If that person just wants to, you know, ditch the project and sell the meat. No, I'm kidding. It's a good little trailer. This trailer was used by NASA in the early to mid 60s to do astronaut training for Apollo. NASA did own this one? NASA owned this trailer. Wow, that's crazy. This trailer is going to Australia. Oh, wow. I was wondering, you know, on the way here, I was like, hmm. I wonder how much it would cost to ship mine to Hawaii. About $5,000. Honestly? Yeah. Could be worth it. I'm so excited to be able to bring you Airstream videos again. This hopefully will be about a six month process of renovating and I'm gonna take you guys along every step of the way. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and as a thank you for watching this far, here is a sneak peek at the next episode because I did something that, uh, I did something a little crazy and I'm, I'm excited to share it with you guys. Honestly, it's really cute. Wait, we should do a scene where you like try and convince me to just buy that one. I like it.